Check out this amazing light turquoise crystal clear water. We are in Belize and we're going to go to snorkel off an island called Laughing Bird Cay. We docked at a small island called Harvest Cay. Harvest Cay is one of those islands that get developed by the cruise lines. It is very well done. They have this huge pool that has like a walk bridge over it. They have a man-made beach with zip lines running over it. We didn't actually stay at Harvest Cay. We got on a little boat and went to an island about 40 minutes out. The island is called Laughing Bird Cay. This is the little boat we went out to Laughing Bird Cay on. And here is Laughing Bird Cay. It is just a tiny little island, but it is surrounded by some pretty nice coral and some clean white sand beaches. The light turquoise crystal clear waters made the long painful trip out worth it. It's interesting how we see beauty like this, but we don't recognize that there is a god behind all this. There were lots of significant coral formations like this one, all the way up the coast of that island right to the beach. In fact, as we swam back to the shore, I was seeing coral formations like this one. Did you know that God created us in His image? Genesis 1.26 says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Then he gave us one command, Genesis 2, 16 and 17, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of that tree, you shall surely die. We did eat, and we died. And that is the status of mankind to this day. Jesus plainly told us that the wrath of God abides on us. John 3.36 He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. So why does the wrath of God abide on us? It abides on us because Adam and Eve disobeyed God at that time, and we disobey God today. God clearly showed us His will through things like the Law, the first five books of the Bible, which are called the Law, and in there we have the Ten Commandments, and also through Jesus. Jesus told us the will of the Father as well. Jesus said in John 12, 49, For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command, what I should say and what I should speak. And that is why we see Jesus teaching the Ten Commandments in the book of Matthew. So when Jesus says repent, and that is what he taught, and believe, he's speaking of repent of not doing the will of God. Jesus said in Mark 1.15, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And this is the gospel. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus said in Matthew 23, 9 and 10, Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. And do not be called teachers, for one is your teacher, the Christ. on the golf cart. It's another adventure.
time to go back to the ship, have dinner, hopefully in front of the window, watch the sunset. Please subscribe to be notified when there are new videos.